<laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is an extremely important teaching. <laughs> so I'm going to try to address it as succinctly as possible. So that I address it and not to <laughs> pass it up. This week's Parsha, Parsha Yisrael. Uh, Yisrael comes and sees Moshe Rabbeinu judging, uh, teaching them Torah, the whole, the whole Israel. And he says, you can't, you can't endure this way, you, you'll fall. And he gives him advice to set up the whole judiciary system. And uh, it seems like a letdown. You know, until then everyone was learning from Moshe Rabbeinu and now it's this whole hierarchy. So uh, if you take a, a closer look at the words and I can't get into all the all the diukim, all the, the the specifics in the actual words, it's, it's in Hebrew I published it on my blog. It appears that Yisro is not demoting the system of relegating it to lower sources. He's actually elevating the whole system. And it's a very simple idea that Moshe Rabbeinu, everyone knows, is on the 49th level of Bina, of understanding. And the 50th level of, of Bina, Nunshaya Bina, everyone should know already, is really a level of, of being one with God. And, uh, and that's not actually attainable on a, at, a, at, a, sta at a status quo, because then it's complete, then it's just God. It's only attainable, but that's over show of back and forth. person gets it and, and leaves it. And then there's always aspects and lower paradigms that, that a person could have th that, that, that level of Nishai you know, because he's not operating on such a paradigm that's so close to God that that the 50 because every level is includes all the levels so if a person's on a very low level so then the aspect of the 50th level of uh, will not be complete his patut nullification abnegation to God so what Yisrael was was telling Moshe Rabbeinu how could you be in all these places how could you be giving Torah to so many people it's not possible for a physical body to do such a thing. Similarly, we find in the Kutiman, Rabbi Nachman says, we, we know that a person, if he wants wealth, so he, he the, the Talmud says, he should be mechavein, he should intend, he should, he should face himself towards the north. If he wants wisdom, he should face himself towards the south. So Rabbi Nachman says, how could a person do both? <laughs> a person is a physical world. How could he do both? Rabbi Nachman says that if a person gets to the ayin, to the nothingness, so if he's nothing, he could do both. <laughs> he could be everywhere. So that's what Yisra was telling Moshe Rabbeinu. How could you possibly be there for all these people? You'll certainly fall. But the word fall is already known Bez Lamid is already alluding to known as the 50th level of Bina. And Lamid Bez is even higher as the 32 uh, paths of wisdom, which is even higher in some aspects than the than, Nunshaibin. Than so he's really saying, you, it has to come to a fall, you have to come to nothingness. And when you come to nothingness, then you could be there for everyone. So how, how do the, what does that mean, to come to nothingness? That means the teacher doesn't until then, Moshe Rabbeinu was teaching them and bringing them Ruach HaKodesh, he was bringing the, the, word, the Word of God. The Yisra says, you have to bring yourself with the Word of God to Hashem. You have to, you have to be not, not teaching them, bringing it on them. You have to be with them. Because when a person comes to the nothingness, so then the tzaddik, the tzaddik is with them. When the tzaddik is nothing, what Rabbeinu says that Moshe Rabbeinu is called mechokik, the, the the lawgiver. So the word mechokik is uh, numerical value two forty eight, which is the number of limbs. Moshe Rabbeinu says Moshe Rabbeinu is in all our limbs, because Moshe Rabbeinu, 
Rabbeinu says is, is the aspect of humility that we have in all our, our limbs. So he has the, the, the nothingness that he becomes part of us. And that's the greatest teacher, as everyone knows. It's, it's, it's above... It's above imparting teachings and lessons. It's when the spirit of the teacher already is with the is with the person to 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 guide them. And this is also explains the the Talmud says when in Chagiga, when Shaul summoned up Shmuel in the end of his life, he he he, he they. They exercise. They brought him up, and from from the dead to to consult with him. So the Talmud says Shmuel thought that he was being summoned to the to the great day of judgment, and he was scared and he called, and he went and he got to Moshe Rabbeinu and said, "Come testify for me." And it doesn't seem to make any sense. The, the final judgment, every person is for himself. And what does he have to testify for more than than, it, than it's going to be revealed before God Himself? So, the the answer is like Rabbeinu says, when a person that a Talmud, the disciple receives the face of of the of the tzaddik. Does the tzaddik look at the Talmud and say, "Oh, you have my face"? He doesn't even have to look at him. The tzaddik doesn't even have to be aware. That the, that the Talmud, that the, that his student, his disciples have his face. It happens, it's a natural progression, that the, the, the student is learning and incorporating and growing with the Tzaddik and he's, and he's going to have his, his face. His Tzalem, his Demus, his godly image, that's what he's doing. And that's what Shmuel, Shmuel, Shmuel wanted, to, wanted from Moshe Rabbeinu. <laughs> Come with me, uh, show them, <laughs> show... Let it be seen that whatever you gave over from God, that's what happened with me. And this is what Yisro, this is in the merit of the of the Eitzah. Eitzah is also from Bina, the Rabbi who says Eitzah is the Bina of Bina. So this is this is what happened with Yisro. Yisro said, you can't just be giving them the lessons. You have to abnegate yourself completely, bring everyone up to, bring yourself to the Nun Shai Bina, to the 50th level. And then, then you'll be with everyone and your ruach will be with them. That's why this is the Derech of Rabbeinu. We know that all the tzaddikim, if a person came to tzaddik before Rabbeinu, so the, the tzaddik would bring ruach kodesh to the person and the person would suddenly be inspired to, to start serving Hashem tremendously. And if he was... If if it was simple, it would just it would it would be a simple inspiration. If the person was learned and 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 and, and a servant already of Hashem, devoted, so he would get ruach hakodesh. The tzaddik would draw from real real divine inspiration. So, but Rabbeinu, he doesn't do that. He does it sometimes in certain, but in general, that's not what Rabbeinu is about. Rabbeinu, everyone knows, is helping every person in their own point of free choice in their own Bechira, he's helping them and guiding them. How, how does that happen? Because Rabbeinu is this collective soul, which we also learned from this week's Pasha, the first verse, Rashi is already showing that we learned it from this week's Pasha, that the Tzaddik, Moshe Rabbeinu, is Shakul, he's, he's, he's equivalent to all of Israel. That means that the Tzalem and the Tmus, the divine image of the Tzaddik, is, incorporates, is, is, is an aggregation of all the souls of Israel. So, um, and all the souls in in all the souls of Israel, every soul has to get their image to to be a a mirror, a real mirror, not a like a, 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 a like a two degree, a two dimensional image. But a a real a real mirror isn't a, isn't an imitation. A real mirror is someone that lives by the by the rules. And the and the constructs for himself, just like Tzadik is thinking for himself, is the main idea of the Tzadik. To Rabbeinu says is is that he makes his own decisions. God doesn't tell him he has to figure out for himself what God wants. So the, the person has to get get that that he's he's a living, thinking, responsible person. Then he gets gets the the image of the Tzadik, and the, this is what Pressive is about. It, 
because in the world, this is important teaching because in the world, most people in the Olam Yeshivas, they look at the Tzaddik as a point of inspiration. Wow, they t they're willing to tell and go over great stories of the Tzaddik so that they could get inspired and, and, and encourage themselves that they should also go the extra mile and be extra holy, which is, which is a big fallacy because we know the Talmud already says, forget about the Zohar, but even the Talmud says the world was created for the Tzaddik. Not, not, for, not for us. And so this is, it's 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 a terrible thing to de to relegate the 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 idea of the tzaddik as a point to you know as 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 a as a, as a inspirational coach. <laughs> no, the tzaddik is the shir kuma. He is the stature of of the of 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 the tzelem of the, the divine image of this world. He's not your your. Your inspirational coach, <laughs> he is that too, but it's, it has to be a little more. So, so for some, for the Lord Tzadikim, so in some way, is he's even though the main idea of the Tzadik is is that he is the Tzadik, he is the, the he is the the sheer kuma of the shin in the world, but. It, a person has to get attached to that and become part of him, and the Tzadik helps him. And the the way to the way to to become part of the tzaddik is to, is obviously to be inspired and to do what he's showing. If it's a, if this tzaddik that that a person's getting close to, his he's into doing chesed, good deeds, then the person that wants to become part of that that divine image in this world is going to have to do divine deeds. He can't just become part of the tzaddik by by you know doing external things and wants he has to incorporate the, the ideas of that tzaddik, the constructs that the tzaddik is giving. But when you're dealing with the tzaddik Yisraelim, the tzaddik that's Bechin of Moshe Rabbeinu, Rabbeinu, so it's, 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 and the main, the main idea of the tzaddik, it comes full circle because for the people that are just learning the, from the tzaddik for inspiration, they obviously miss the boat. Because the main thing is the tzaddik, and the the other people that are saying the main thing is the tzaddik, and we're just trying to get attached to him, that's also beautiful and sweet. But that's that's not the the level of, of the real tzaddik that incorporates all the al The real tzaddik needs the real tzaddik who gets to the shalnun, king of Moshe Rabbeinu, who is oscillating. He was he was operating from from memtes to to nun. From forty nine to fifty, and the, the, like, and the, this is the idea of Hispodidus. Rabbeinu says that when we speak, the words that we speak in Hispodidus are, are actually from Sharnun. Rabbeinu revealed that. That's what Rabbeinu wanted from us to reveal the Sharnun. So for that, it goes full circle that we have to project in ourselves the tzaddik. That so it comes back to us that we have to be reflections of the, of the tzaddik and in that way the tzaddik is sharnun and we're and we're an extension of of the tzaddik this is very important to, to understand because people take all types of lessons what impressive is impressive is all about rabbi nachman <laughs> and especially today people take inspiration is to all types of inspirational lessons from Rabbi Nachman, and I hear it, and they say it's beautiful that you got all this inspiration to 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 be positive and to get and to judge people favorably and to be happy is all beautiful. But everyone knows that the, the, every Torah from Rabbi Nachman is all about the tzaddik, is about him. So I, I'm, I'm hearing all these inspirations, and it's beautiful, and I know that it's very good. But you're missing the boat. If that's what you think that's that that's what progressive is, is to get this little inspiration. So it comes full circle that the, the inspiration that you get from Rabbi Nachman and the, and the, the incorporating the Torahs and bring and and fulfilling the Torahs that he that he revealed and all the Torahs that he revealed his main intention was that we should fulfill them and live them is is that we should live them and build build the uh, our own image in his image the image that God created Hashem created the man in the settlement Mus in the divine image and we have to reveal that that image in ourselves as projections of as the, of the bigger whole 
we have microcosms. The tzaddik is standing behind all of us. And the more we fulfill his Torahs, we become part of that image. And that's what I wanted to say. All the best. <laughs> no, no.